Duda against Dragnev. Poland versus Austria. Round number six of Chess Olympiad 2024. Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Nitzan Steinberg. I'm Chess Grandmaster and in this YouTube channel I upload yesterday a live stream commentary of round number six. You're really welcome to see this one. So today we will watch together the game that took place yesterday as part of the 2024 Chess Olympiad round number six board number one Duda versus Dragnev Poland against Austria two young and talented players I can personally tell you that over my career I have played against Duda several times want to guess the result between us in the five games we played over the board of course 5-0 in his favor Duda left school at a young age and Poland as a country provided him with a full set of support a fitness coach who ran with him in the mornings a chess coach at the Aten, and opening to coach and of course also an endgame coach he had the best framework and in addition to his tremendous talent this helped him become one of the strongest players of all time in the world so let's see if he was able to prove this in the upcoming game against a strong and tenacious opponent grandmaster valentin dragnev from austria let's look at this game d4 knight f6 c4 e6 knight c3 and bishop b4 every game that we are looking in this olympiad is this opening nimzo indian defense e3 was played by Duda b6 and now knight g to e2 the point is that he wants to play a3 and of course after bishop takes e3 grab this bishop with the knight so knight g2 very interesting move here uh, by Duda bishop a6 attacking the pawn on c4 now just a3 you know asking this bishop are you going home or taking my knight he takes he takes of course knight takes e3 and d5 the point after d5 that of course after c takes d5 bishop takes f1 king takes and i don't know 95 or so maybe e takes d5 here black is totally fine there is no two bishops for white so disadvantage gone so after knight c3 he played the move d5 yeah and now b3 was played by duda very strong move of course uh, to you know to defend the pawn on c4 and also to provide these two bishops uh, you know the hair that they need not to exchange them so castle and now a4 was played interesting also another move because he wants to bring the bishop to this diagonal and as you can see in the clock situation duda already thought in nine move 20 move minutes of course so it's yeah it's not so uh, good thing to see because i don't know i thought that maybe duda has a better preparation of of this line but it seems that already uh, he, he, sh he should have thought about some plans here so c5 was played bishop a3 developed the bishop and of course c takes d4 is not good here knight bd7 it seems like dragnev is just bringing the, all his pieces into the game bishop e2 makes a lot of sense just castling and also develop a bishop d takes c4 i'm not sure about his move i thought in the in this game to play just rook c8 you know bringing the rook in this file also uh, after rook e8 maybe c takes d4 with d takes e4 this pawn uh, you know is very weak so rook c8 i think overall was a better option for black but he took the pawn and after b takes e4 he played the move bishop b7 it seems that this bishop is you know attacking the pawn on g2 and uh, putting him in a better diagonal but hey it's not so easy just castle 94 and take the knight bishop takes and f3 and after bishop b7 just e4 and it seems that this bishop is doing nothing here the next move will be d5 of course after c takes d4 don't forget that the rook is uh, on air we are just taking it and i don't know a5 exchange up looking very very strong for white queen d2 rook fb1 uh, looking very strong 
uh, and you know a good chances to win this position so he didn't uh, play this one after bishop b7 e4 was played rook e8 and now just d5 this position just uh, looking absolutely winning you know two bishops for white bishop b2 can be played a5 queen d2 this bishop is very bad knight on d7 bad i don't know it looks really ugly for dragnev he takes d5 and you know in this position i was really shocked he take he takes with e i don't know why you know c takes d5 looking much stronger you know also opening this bishop also maybe a5 with a6 also bishop c4 in some ways bishop b5 maybe you know this pawn structure is just amazing for white and after you're playing here e takes d5 you're opening this file for the rook I, I cannot understand and also don't forget that the pawn on c4 now will be weak in the next future maybe right something around bishop a6 knight a5 queen h4 i don't know about e takes d5 this was a little bit uh, surprising for me at least queen h4 was played bishop b2 just improving the bishop uh, of course in this open diagonal rook e7 makes sense rook a8 the next move will come queen d2 was played rook a8 and now rook f2 just you know defending the bishop on e2 knight e5 now knight c4 this is the threat so white is playing the move queen c3 as you can see now f4 this is the threat with queen g7 checkmate on the board f6 a prophylactic move bishop f1 i like this one because you know knight g4 maybe with some ideas attacking also the rook also on h2 and also rook takes e2 so bishop f1 another prophylactic move by duda knight g6 and now a5 going for uh, you know like the opening this a file knight f4 queen d2 and in this position it's yeah after knight f4 of course knight e2 was the threat queen d2 as you can see duda is very strong in prophylactic moves and every single move he is thinking what black uh, threatening right so if you ask yourself why not play g3 the point here that just knight h3 check and uh, of course g takes h4 cannot be possible because it's a check after bishop h3 just queen takes h3 and this position is just uh, really good for black with rook e2 maybe bishop c8 bishop f5 yeah it's it's a good position so of course g3 was not a clever move queen d2 was played by duda bishop c8 you know he, he felt like this bishop on b7 doing nothing and, and he wants to control uh, maybe this diagonal so a takes b6 a takes b6 and now just rook a8 it seems that duda is going for exchanging some pieces right and if he exchanging some pieces he will be able maybe in the next future to be in end game winning end game because these pawns are weak two bishops and this past pawn will have the possibility to give a duda win bishop d7 was played rook takes e8 rook takes e8 and now bishop to c1 so after bishop c1 you are attacking of course the knight on f4 knight g6 coming back and queen b2 another very strong move attacking the pawn on b6 and also opening this diagonal for the bishop rook e1 was played just bishop d2 attacking the rook and yeah that's it it seems really strong rook d1 and now f4 another very strong move because the point here that black really wants to play the move knight f4 right uh, knight f4 and i don't know queen g5 bishop f5 something like this but f4 just uh, disabling this uh, row for the queen and also you know just um, removing the options for this knight so f4 very strong move by duda uh, and in this position 32 moves already played and dragnev has only two minutes on the clock with duda with 14 minutes so let's see queen g4 was played queen takes b6 and now knight h Four. and this position is just losing absolutely for black queen d8 check king f7 and now h3 attacking the queen and you know only the first move that i thought about queen f5 of course because you need to control this bishop but now just g g4 and the next move will be queen takes d7 and the game is over but hey dragnev is very completely interesting game and, and uh, of course player he played the move rook takes f1 with one minute on the clock he's sacrificing his rook of course after rook takes f1 oh no queen takes g2 checkmate on the board but of course duda didn't play it but let's think he played the move king h2 
and it was a very big mistake. King takes f1, just winning the game absolutely. And I must admit, I saw this position live streaming. Queen d1, bishop e1, and now bishop h3 maybe, bishop f5. For example, bishop e5, just f5, of course, rook e2 with queen e8 checkmate uh, threats. You know, this position just losing, absolutely. Uh, queen e8 will be, king f2 maybe, I don't know, uh, bringing the queen and also queen e3. This position should be winning uh, for white. And uh, if he's not playing bishop f5, if he's playing bishop h3, uh, just queen c7 check, king g6, and queen e7. The point here that after you are taking the bishop, this is not so good because queen d3 check. Uh, and this will be somewhere draw, king g1, queen g3 check. And yeah, this you, you can see that this position will be a draw. Now queen h, no, d3, sorry, because king e2. Yeah, and after rook e2, just queen coming f3. Yeah, this is draw, immediately draw. Um, so, of course, of, or also queen h3 should be draw. So yeah, um, so of course g takes h3 is not good. So you're playing the move, I don't know, maybe f5 with queen coming back. Uh, but also queen e7 looking very, very good. Queen e2, the next move. Should be winning, not so easy, but should be winning. But Dura, after rook takes f1, he played the move king h2. With the point is that, you know, you're attacking the queen and the queen cannot go, for example, to g6 because you will play queen d7 and that's it, right? For example, queen g6, just queen takes d7. And I don't know, queen d6, king g8, uh, maybe queen b8, uh, somewhere like this. And f5 or queen e6 and coming back. Maybe bishop e3 or also maybe coming back or bishop e3 with bishop c5 checkmate, right? Something like this, but it should be winning absolutely. Uh, if it's, if you are playing, for example, I don't know, like this, you're playing this move. For example, king d8, just bishop a5 checkmate on the board. Yeah, so, so this position just winning for white. Uh, but after queen f5, the point was just rook takes f1. Uh, but Dragnev here, fine, just amazing, amazing save with the black pieces. Can you think about the solution? I really, really hope you can do it. Queen takes a tree. What a sacrifice of a queen. Full queen for one pawn. G takes a tree, of course. Rook takes f2. And now, after king g3, just rook f3, king h2, rook rook f2 and of course if he's going for king takes h4 rook h3 checkmate on the board because the bishop here is uh, defending the rook and also this pawn avoiding king g5 so just amazing and if he here is going for uh, g1 rook g2 check king h1 and bishop h3 and this position looks very bad for white knight f3 with rook g1 rook h2 the bishop is under attack and this king is totally safe here so i think in this position only black can play for win so in this position uh, after yeah they just repeated uh, the moves and and yeah a draw three time repetition by duda against dragonev dragonev you know try to do the best and he find a sacrifice of a queen full queen to do a draw in this particular game just unbelievable but last uh, um, last variation that i really want to show you king h1 also was a move but now bishop f5 quite move with bishop e4 knight f3 rook g2 so much so much uh, threats of checkmate so this position just losing after queen c7 just king g6 there is no checks for white and black is just winning. So ladies and gentlemen, if you like this video, press the like button, subscribe my channel for more chess content. See you soon in the titled Tuesday tournament. Three hours from now or two, two hours from now. See you there. Bye. Bye.